A few weeks ago, I created an interesting algorithm for generating text. So note here that this is sort of a follow-up video to this one. You don't have to watch it to understand this video, but if you want, the link will be in the description. In that previous video, I went over a text generation method I created. To summarize, we take some kind of prompt that the user wrote, attach some random words after, then over a number of iterations, we randomly choose a word to replace with the so-called mask token, and after that, we pass that to an unmasker neural network, like Bert if you're familiar, which replaces the mask token back with the word that would make the most sense to be there instead of the mask token. And after a sufficient number of iterations, we get a pretty good completion. Since that video, I implemented a number of changes. These include, number one, now I can place the prompt in the middle of the random words, not just in the beginning. Number two, instead of randomly choosing a word to unmask, it now follows a predictable pattern. And finally, number three, I added a feature to keep the length of the generated text under control. More on that later. So, at that point, this thing was pretty much a working text completion model. In this video, I'll be primarily focusing on making this system operate as a chatbot. Meaning you type in a question and it responds with an answer that is also affected by previous messages. For the first attempt at this, I just took the most obvious approach and decided to improve upon it later. Here's how it looks like in code. Which works by starting with an empty string, then adding question, and after that the user prompt, then adding answer, and letting the unmasker model complete the rest. This honestly didn't work that well. The first time trying to communicate with it, it went something like this. At first, it was typing complete random nonsense. After a few sentences, it seemed to get a little bit better, but after around 5 more, it seemed to adopt bad habits, such as repeating the same word over and over. So I decided to maybe skip the warm-up stage. Finding a few lines of fake conversation before the real interaction starts. Here's how the updated version looks like. And it worked a little bit better. Now the conversation can start without a few warm-up questions. But we still have the problem that the network gets more and more dumb past the first 5 or 6 interactions. I thought that maybe adding some fake conversation after the real user interaction might also help. At this point I also decided to add a few additional features, such as clip off the oldest part of the conversation to make sure that it doesn't get longer than the maximum length that the unmasker model can take in. As well as separating the fake conversation start and end from the actual user interaction into separate variables to keep things clean. And it seems that it also doesn't work too well. It suffers from the same problems as the other ones did. It just doesn't pay attention to my previous questions and still manages to have these bad habits occur after some time. Well, I wouldn't be making a video if the end result was so bad. I discovered that if you change the characters in the conversation from question and answer or human and neural net to something like then I said, you replied, I asked, etc, etc and pair that with randomly selecting which line star will be used next, the quality of the interaction improves a ton. 
using such a story conversation format forces the network to reference past sentences and write responses mentioning the user directly. After some settings tuning, I managed to also almost completely eradicate the bad habits problem and here is an example of the latest version. Some nice side effects of this project are two functions that meaningful add and subtract words from a sentence, meaning that you can add or subtract a word from a sentence while keeping the grammar correct. Those are used to keep the masker from making the sentences too short or too long. And also a function that can complete parts of sentences like a normal and masker model just with multiple words. All of that and other stuff from this project can be found on GitHub. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching.